Hello, here's the One Team Working COVID-19 update for Tuesday the 4th of August. So we are um, gearing up for this Friday for our next Care to Watch live streaming. This week we're doing crafts. Uh, so join Danielle and Laura on Friday the 7th of August at 11am for a live Care to Craft activity. It's going to be streamed live through Care to Watch channel. That's You can search for that through the YouTube search bar. Um, it's going to be a fun-filled craft se session making musical instruments from scratch. So please, you, you, might, you should have already seen the email that's gone around asking you to keep hold of those um, items within the home, recyclable items, bottles, tubes, etc. So that you can use these with the extra activity kits that are going to be sent out later this week um, so that you, you, the individuals can get involved in the activity. Please don't forget to take as many photos, videos of the individuals joining in in the session as you can, upload them to the daily diaries um, or send them direct to us at the communications team um, and have fun. We, we really want to, um, at these, these live streaming um, activities are as trialling different things and so we really want your feedback as well. If anybody um, has any other ideas and would like to share that please do get in touch and give us your feedback but please do take as much videos and photos as you can of the individuals getting involved with it. Thank you. Um, so a message here from health and well-being around face masks. Face, uh, masks and face coverings are effective, but only when used correctly. For those of us working in social care, they have been a part of our working lives for some time and we're used to them. But now we're also required to wear face coverings outside of work in public spaces, such as on transport and within shops. Um, the masks we wear at work are surgical masks, so they are designed to filter out small particles of bacteria and viruses, and they are fluid repellent, giving a very high level of protection. So the question is, is a face, is a cloth face covering effective at stopping the spread of germs like coronavirus? So you can see some images here that which shows a sneeze in different levels of face covering. And it clearly shows that most of the spray from the sneeze in both the surgical mask and the two layer cloth face covering has been captured by the material. Please remember, you can't see them, but the germs are still there in the material. They haven't magically disappeared. If you pull the material up or down, have it dangling around your chin, if you touch the, the face covering with your hands, those germs are now on your face, they're on any part of the skin where the material's moved on and touched, they're on your hands, so everything you touch afterwards will also be um, contaminated with germs until you wash your hands again. So masks and face coverings are only effective when they are used correctly. Please always wash your hands before and after wearing a mask. Use the ties or loops to put the mask on or take it off. Don't touch the front. Wear it properly, which means covering your nose, mouth and chin and just leave it alone. Its job is to collect germs, so it is dirty. So please don't, don't touch it. Refer a friend is still a scheme that we are running. Um, with the summer holidays now, um, it's a great way to earn some extra spending money for yourselves um, whilst also starting someone on their rewarding career in care. So you can earn £100 on your referrals, successful completion of their induction and then a further £200 on successful completion of their probation. Um, you can submit a form under the green eye icon on your zone standard portal or contact the recruitment team for more information. And that's that for today. Uh, we'll be back again uh, with the next one team working on Friday.